Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this interesting function equation f of x plus 1 over x plus 4 equals to x square plus 1 over x square plus 16. And now we are going to find the value of f of 17. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let me go ahead and call this very first equation as equation number one. And as we can see, we don't see any clear pattern to find f of 17. So therefore, we are going to think outside the box. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on the right hand side of this equation one x square plus 1 over x square plus 16 and here I have copied it down and this could be written as let me go ahead and write as x square could be written as x and then power 2 plus 1 over x square could be written as 1 over x whole square and then 16 could be written as 4 square and now let's recall this well-known formula a plus b plus c square equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca and I want to isolate this part a square plus b square plus c square by moving these terms on the left hand side. So therefore, this equation could be written as a square plus b square plus c square equal to a plus b plus c whole square minus 2ab minus 2bc minus 2ca. And now let's go ahead and compare this part on the right hand side with this part over here in this equation. This is going to be our a. This is our a b and this is our c so therefore we can write this one as x plus 1 over x and then plus 4 whole square minus 2 times a in our case is x and then b is 1 over x and then minus 2 2 times bc that is going to be a negative 2 times b in our case is 1 over x times 4 and then finally this is going to be minus 2 times c is 4 and then x and now let's go ahead and simplify furthermore so this could be written as x plus 1 over x then plus 4 square and here we can see this 1 over x and x they cancel each other out so we got a negative 2 and here if we multiply all these over here this is going to become negative 8 over x and here this is going to give us negative 8x and now let's go ahead and simplify furthermore so this could be written as x plus 1 over x plus 4 square now let's go ahead and focus on these two terms and we can see that we can factor out negative 8 I'm going to factor out negative 8 and inside the parentheses I can write x plus 1 over x and then I can write this negative 2 right up here so therefore this left hand side x square plus 1 over x square plus 16 is written as x plus 1 over x plus 4 whole square minus 8 times x plus 1 over x and finally negative 2 and let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 2 
And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and compare these two equations, one and two. And we will be using this very basic rule. If A equals to B and B equal to C, then we can write A equal to C. So therefore, we can write over here as F of X plus one over X plus four on the left hand side could be written as equal to x plus 1 over x plus 4 whole square minus a times x plus 1 over x and then finally minus 2. Now let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number 3. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and evaluate this f of 17 by using this equation 3. That means this 17 is going to be equal to this part over here, x plus 1 over x plus 4. So therefore, I can equate these two arguments. I can write x plus 1 over x plus 4. 4 equal to 17. Now let's move this 4 on the other side. So that means x plus 1 over x equal to 17 minus 4. So therefore x plus 1 over x value is going to be simply 13. So let's go ahead and evaluate f of 17. So I can write f of 17 equal to this part is going to become 17 square minus 8 times this x plus 1 over x in our case is 13 and then finally negative 2 as you can see over here. So therefore, f of 17 turns out to be 289 minus 104 minus 2. So thus our f of 17 value turns out to be, if we simplify that thing, that is going to be 183. So thus our f of 17 value turns out to be 183 and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.